Morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Love 500. Welcome back to a one-off video. I did a, a YouTube short on this and I did mention it in uh, Project Peanut, the uh, day one on Project Peanut. This is a game-changing bit of information of uh, an in-browser extension that will uh, change your life. All right, maybe that's been a bit dramatic. It will be a game changer for buying cars. Not every car, but it will give you some peace of mind as well. A game changer for buying cars from salvage companies. Most salvage companies are covered. Currently, BCA aren't, but then they're not, they're not a um, salvage company. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let's go. Watch this video, this will save you a lot of messing around, will save you time, will save you stress, and may make the decision between you deciding to bid on a car or not. It really is a game changer. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to show you on screen uh, in a minute. Uh, I just want to explain to you what it is. So this, uh, I, was ke I keep wanting to call it an app. It's not an app. All it is is a browser extension. Now, I use it on a Mac. I'm a Mac user. I don't use Windows except for multi-ECU scan and so on. But um, I'm a Mac user. have been since 1984, literally since 1984, um, when they came out. So it works on a Mac. Obviously, it works on Windows. It's a browser extension that I've, as far as I'm aware, it only works in Chrome, in the Chrome browser. I don't think it works on any iOS, or iOS or any other type of uh, operating system on a tablet or a phone or anything like that. It's only a browser extension, I believe, just for either Windows or the Mac, o Mac, o Mac OS. Doesn't work in Safari, I tried it. Uh, doesn't work in, what was the other one I tried it in? I can't remember, another one I tried in. Opera, I think it was, didn't work in that. Only works in Chrome. It's really, really easy to use, and I'm gonna show you the, how you do it, because a couple of people I've told about it, they said it doesn't work, after I've explained how to do it, but after re-explaining it, it works. So let me show you the actual website of the company that produces it. The best thing about this is it's completely and utterly, 100%, no catches, free, free of charge. Let me get the website on screen and then we'll show you and explain to you exactly what it does. Let's go. Okay, so I'm about to show you the website um, and I'll tell you a little bit about it and you can read the web website at your leisure. Um, but just quickly, uh, I'm on the website now, so I am just want to start off by telling you which auction sites it works on. Um, so let me get back to the beginning. Okay, so the auction sites that this works on, uh, I'm just gonna look at the screen down here. So it works on Copart, it works on ASM, HBC Vehicle Services, I've not actually heard of those, Charles Trent, well known, Synetic, Hills, uh, NSAA, was that Northern Salvage Automobile Association, uh, salvagemarket.co.uk, uh, silverlake.co.uk, um, and I think at the moment that is it. Now I have actually sent an email to the people who uh, produce this. Uh, and ask them about BCA and they are going to look into it and so hopefully BCA might be coming soon. So what is it? So I've told you it's a browser extension. Uh, according to the website it does say Firefox coming soon so if you use the Firefox browser um, that is coming soon. It doesn't work, uh, say it works in Chrome um, and it works uh, coming soon in Firefox. It doesn't seem to work in anything else at the moment. So the website you need is auctionhunter.io so wubble you wubble you wubble you auctionhunter.io let me show you the site now we'll have a little look around it and uh, we'll show you what you need to do so here we are this is the auctionhunter.io website um, if we click on the about it will tell us all about it so um, passionate team of car buyers who purchase damaged vehicles and sell them for profit so they do this themselves uh, they built this free to use tool for those buying at salvage to give them more information on salvage lots um, and their goal is to give others, like us, protection from dodgy cars being re-auctioned multiple times after a cheap fix. So what it does is you install it and then you forget about it. So all you've got to do is download it and then you install it into your Google uh, Chrome. So it's got an installer, you just run the installer and it will do it. Um, 
and that's that's all you do so as i say the sites it works on there's your list that i've just read to you there's an email address there uh, info at auctionhunter.io if you want to contact them for any reason uh, there's also a contact page there and that is all you do so you go to your home page you click on the install chrome and then all it does is it goes into chrome so we're in chrome at the moment um, and it's saying for me remove from chrome of course that's because i've already got it installed um, and that's it that's all you do and then what you do once you've got it installed all you do is you go to your account on any of these uh, sites so we've already gone through what sites you can use it on uh, here I am on Copart that's out of, out of all of those it's the only one I've actually got an account with um, I've only got an account with them and BCA so they, here you can see uh, cars that I purchased um, between 100 and I, on Copart you can view what you've bought in the last year um, if you've got specific lot numbers you can probably do that as well and I might try that in a minute um, now having looked through there I know that this car here which was um, a 500 lounge in beige uh, if we have a look here the category was a D now I bought this um, well, sometime within the last year and as it was a D I know that that had been damaged before so if you click on your lot, so you can do this. So you can do this if on any car that you want to bid on, any car that you're looking at, any of these auction sites that you want to bid on. Once you've got this installed, all you do is you click on the one you want. I've got it opened up in another tab here, and it shows you here lot sold because it was me that bought it. So former Cat D. So we know with this car, we know that this one has been through an auction, uh, has been through an auction before because it's a Cat D, and of course, it's now it would now be a Cat N. Uh, now. A lot of people I've, I've told about this, or some of the people I've told about this, have got this far and said, well, it doesn't work. Because what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a box here, just here, uh, to show you more about this car. So the way you do that, because when you're in your account, as you can see, the, the VIN number there and the registration number of the car are only, you can only view part of it. If you click on it, watch this. So I've clicked on it to reveal, and then we get that up. So it tells us there, the registration mark, when it was registered, what it is, colour, petrol, engine size, the last mileage recorded, uh, and when the next MOT is due. Uh, 10th of the 9th, 2024. So, we know it's got four owners, we know it's on HPI's a Cat D. So, as you'll see here, this will often show zero, but it tells us on the 28th of the 3rd, 2018, this was written off for the first time. If we click on view, so if you click on view, view, view free report, let's do that first. And it will take us to another check now. So this will be your, J, your, your basic check that you can then pay for. So that's probably where they get their money from for this site. So, you know, it's probably cheaper doing it this way. I've not done it because I don't tend to do that. But if we click on view, and I have seen them where there's been two here, and you can look at them all. We click on view, it takes us to this page. It tells us again, all that information again. Same information, it was sold on the 28th of the 3rd, and it tells us what it was. The vehicle sustained sustain near side front damage, runs and moves for loading. It may be sold elsewhere unless within 24 hours of auction end, or the reserve has been met. Viewing welcome during opening hours, nationwide delivery service available. Please call for info. Viewing by prior arrangement is recommended. They don't like full stops here on capital letters. Description is a guide only for available parts. Please go to diymotorist.co.uk. So that was sold not on Copart. And if we scroll down, we will see there's the, all the images of when this was originally damaged. So I didn't know that the airbags had gone. I didn't know where the damage was. Well, I, I, think, I, I think on this car I figured out it was this side, because you could tell. But I didn't know to what extent. So this was only a Cat D, despite the airbags going, because when it was Cat C and D, they, they were often um, Cat Cs when the airbags had gone, despite whatever the damage was. But this one wasn't, it was only a Cat D. Shows you the mileage. So all of the pictures that were listed when this car was sold the first time are shown here. How good is that? So you can look at any car you want to do and see if it's gone through the auctions before. And if it has, which isn't necessarily an issue, because what, what you'll sometimes find is you will find that um, a, there's a Cat S 
and there's very, very minor damage. And the reason it's a Cat S is because it was either a Cat D or a Cat N once before, and they automatically make it a Cat S. But you can look and have a look and see exactly what that was. We'll close that one off. And then if we reload it, all we've got to do, I think, if, if you click on there as well, it does the same thing. No, it doesn't. It's because it's already been done. So if you wanted to view that again, all you've got to do is go back into it, uh, close it, go back into it. And um, so if we open that in new tab, it will do the same thing again. Where's it gone? Yeah, and then we just click on it again. And as you'll see, it'll pop up almost instantaneously. What a cracking little browser extension, eh? That, will, that could potentially save you a lot of money by not bidding on the wrong car. I've also tried it, uh, what I did is I found one of my old cars that I did, uh, I found the um, our Black R Bath Trofeo that I did in 2022. Uh, I found the Copart invoice for that. I copied and pasted the auction number into Copart and it came up with a page, it's still there, clicked on it, showed that it was uh, HPI clear and not been through the auctions before. So it will even work on cars you've bought before. So I'm sure you'll all have cars that you can try it on. So give it a try, Auction Hunter, auctionhunters.io. Big, big game changer. I'm sure you'll appreciate the fact that I've shared this with you. So uh, yeah, hope it helps you. It certainly helped me uh, and I'm, uh, every car I'm gonna bid on now, I run it through there. Uh, I, normally, I normally do the bidding on my iPad. Uh, but I always will run it through there first once it's in my watch list to make sh just to make sure game changer so that's it I know you've been eagerly awaited this one after I mentioned it the other day thanks for watching if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up hope you give us a thumbs up for this video yes great one anyway that's it thanks for watching until the next one take care stay safe and we will see you soon